Ladies and gentlemen, good day and welcome to Satya Industries Limited Q2 FY24 and H1 FY24 earnings call. As a reminder, all participant lines will be in the listen only mode and there will be an opportunity for you to ask questions after the presentation concludes. Should you need assistance during the conference call, please signal an operator by pressing star then zero on your touchstone phone. Please note that this conference is being recorded. I now hand the conference over to Ms. Runjan Jain. Thank you and over to you. Thank you, Yusuf. Good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of Satya Industries Limited, I welcome all of you to the company's Q2 FY24 earnings conference call. I'm Runjan Jain from EYIR Practice and we manage industry relations for the company. We hope you would have got the chance to review the results which are available on exchanges and on company's website. To discuss the company's performance uh, in the quarter and gone by, we have with us Mr. R.K. Bhandari, Joint Managing Director, and Mr. Rachid Maspal, Chief Financial Officer of the company. Before we proceed with the call, a disclaimer. Please do note that anything said on this call during the interaction and or in our collaterals, which reflects the outlook towards the future, or which should be taken as a certain forward-looking statement, must be viewed in conjunction with the risk the company faces and may not be updated from time to time. More details can be found on the company's website, that is www.satiagroup.com. So if you have any queries or need any further information at the end of this call, you can reach out to us on the email address mentioned in the company's collection. With that, I would not like to hand over the call to Mr. Rashid Maspal, Thank you and over to you, sir. Thank you and warm good afternoon to you all. Ladies and gentlemen, we extend a warm welcome to our Q2 and H1 Financial Year 24 conference call. Let's begin with an overview of recent industry developments. The previous quarter presented formidable challenges for the sector with paper prices witnessing a notable decline and close of raw materials, especially wood chip sales, which sharp contrast in pricing dynamics had a significant impact on almost all India, all industry players, including ourselves. Consequently, our revenue saw a year-on-year decrease of 19%, amounting to rupees 3,734 million. However, when viewed on an on a half yearly basis, our production, sales realization, and revenue remain stable. Despite our scheduled renovation shutdown on two of our paper machines, our production volume was slightly more than that of H1 financial year 23. We anticipate a volume upswing in the second half of FY24, and we remain confident in our ability to achieve us selected guidance of 5 to 7 percent volume growth for financial year 24 compared to financial year 23. Despite facing the challenge of dumping of cheap imports with most major consumers for their requirements till December 2023 and lack of a strong pull in the market due to festive season, we at City Industries are well positioned to navigate these challenges. Thanks to our strong relationship with state export boards, and we have both good orders which are under execution in the current quarter. Our H1 FY24 EBITDA margin grew to 27.6% against 18.7% in H1 uh, financial year 23. And perhaps to that, an impressive 1,321 million against. 811 million in H1 23, reflecting a substantial 53% year on year growth. Regarding our ongoing CapEx initiatives, we have successfully completed the initial phase of the wood pulping CapEx, which entails the installation of DDS in four wood pulping digesters to reduce steam consumption and enhance wood pulping capacity. Both these objectives have been achieved. Looking ahead to financial year 25, we have planned two major capex initiatives, which include the upgradation and modernization of PM3 to enhance its production capacity and optimize energy consumption and a new soda recovery boiler. We anticipate that, that these steps will further bolster our economies of scale, ultimately leading to improved profitability. 
thanks to our strong cash generation capabilities we have continued to reduce our long term debt in addition to regular debt repayment we proactively prepaid 284 million during quarter as during uh, quarter to financial year 24 and 626 million in h1 financial year 24 we appreciate your participation in today's call and extend our season greetings in advance we will now proceed to the question and answer session thank you thank you very much we will now begin the question and answer session anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and 1 on their touchstone telephone if you wish to remove yourself from the question queue you may press star and 2 participants are requested to use handset while asking a question ladies and gentlemen we'll wait for a moment while the question queue assembles first question is from the line of Aman from Aman Investments, please go ahead. Yeah, sure. Thanks, ma'am. And uh, good afternoon, Bandari. Sir, so, uh, first of all, I've been here this a light bit. If you can just give me the order book which we are seeing for the current quarter was because it was a little bit unordered. Uh, order book is almost thirty-five thousand ton. Okay. Oh, okay. Sir. Open market, yeah. Perfect, perfect. Sir, my question was: From past two years, we have done a substantial investment in our capacity. When this comes to a completion stage or commissioning, what kind of capacities are we looking at per day, ton, or per annum? How are we looking at this work? In the future. Yeah, in the future, sir. When yeah, uh, the plan for everything is established, uh, what what type of capacities are we looking at in ton tonnage basis? Uh, last year uh, we did almost two lakh ten thousand ton, and uh, we, uh, as uh, Rashid ji told, another five to six percent. We intend we may be increasing this year in the volume, and uh, the management is looking to add minimum hundred ton per day additional capacity. Okay, so, so now. Okay, so is it is it is it is it good to assume that now six fifty is there? So probably we'll be reaching seven fifty when and by then do we plan to reach that stage, sir? Uh, is it no, any if any time? If, if we look at the figure of two twenty, if we achieve anywhere near this, this comes to almost six hundred ton, which is our present finished paper capacity. So if we add uh, another hundred ton, so we will be doing anywhere between six fifty to seven hundred ton per day. So which could mean if we do six fifty, so it should be uh, almost two lakh thirty five to two lakh forty thousand ton, which has been the guidance we have been given giving earlier also, which will be after the financial year twenty five. Okay, and sir, uh, after commercialization of this uh, capex, when do we see what will be the optimal capex or capacity utilization uh, uh, overall within six okay. months or any, any short time period? Almost always been in the range of ninety to hundred percent only. Okay, so the additional capacity also will be in the same. Sir, also, yeah. how are we planning ourselves uh, to supplement this additional capacity? How are we marketing ourselves or how are we? Uh, placing ourselves better, if you can, and also, sir, your line is very uh, unclear. If you can just uh, uh, speak a little clearly, or you can just check your signal, it will be much better, sir. Yeah, actually, as we have been telling earlier, now I am clear. Yeah, yeah, little bit better, sir. Little yeah. better. Yeah. Yeah, we have been telling earlier. Now we have uh, put our main focus. Number one on the photocopier paper, which we have been selling earlier, but the percentage was very low. But now a new target has been given to the marketing team, and a major search on photocopier number one. And number two, we are adding some other uh, high-end printing paper, which we have already introduced, and it has given successful trials. so that uh, will be 100% wood based paper 
so okay. we are looking to high end quality paper uh, segments in the coming time so that will be okay. totally different from our present uh, product line yeah sir on this matter i have a follow up question i think you have mentioned a plan for you wanted to add high end premium products high quality paper so which products are we targeting for any particular segment in hygiene or any other products absorbent paper or craft paper what type of new products are we targeting yes. and will uh, yes sir yeah, yeah. 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 these are yes, access yeah, yes, paper which are used in at high speed uh, multicolor printing machine and number 2 as i mentioned earlier photocopier paper so these are the two premium products and within that high end printing paper we are adding two three different uh, products so uh, the product two product have already been launched and we are looking to add one or two another products to that segment yeah but they okay. will be all in the printing segment yeah oh, okay sir sir uh, sir one more thing what mix are we looking for uh, going forward in near term for board and non board sectors our textbook board will remain in the because our overall production will increase so it will come down to almost 30 35% and the open market will increase to almost 70 65 to 70% yeah perfect perfect so will uh, is it right to estimate that it will be in the mix of 35 65 yeah it could be that okay sir so and your guidance for the coming uh, half yearly h2 a bit the pattern because we have seen little bit downside this time and your guidance for h2 yeah and all we yeah we explained earlier even in the last call that normal abita in the paper industry with integrated units is anywhere between 20 to 25% which is considered to be a good abita margin so uh, first quarter was extraordinary as was the last quarter also because of the high prices but since prices came down so the beta margin further reduced uh, from almost 30% plus to 24% almost so it will yeah. remain uh, within this range only 20 to 25% and sir, now the prices have again yeah last one i just joined the queue so now the prices are corrected just to follow now the prices are corrected and we are seeing an uptick on the prices so going forward are we uh, are we confident on cementing on the quarter one performance going forward for our coming years to come the cementing uh, like what we have done for q1 and then yeah. uh, growing on that base yeah i can say that uh, quarter one was uh, we have to keep a par number one because uh, we prices are definitely correcting as you said sir the so line is now little Sorry, sorry to this uh, interrupt, but line is uh, un unclear. If you can just adjust again. Yeah, yeah. Uh, prices they have rightly corrected upward by five to six percent, but uh, again, as I said earlier, we in we yeah. our guidance is that abita will remain within the range of twenty five percent plus minus. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sure. I'll just join the queue. Pass the whole year. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Congratulations, sir. I'll join the queue. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next question is from the line of Narendra from Robo Capital. Please proceed. Yeah. Hi. Right. Thanks for the opportunity. Most of the most of the questions have been answered in this week. So I just wanted to know uh, what was the realization in Q2 and what was the change. Change why why and do you feel if you could say something? Um, though we normally don't give specific number, but uh, in the Q1 it was above ninety thousand, and uh, in Q2 it was uh, uh, almost less than seventy five thousand rupee a ton. So the prices were down by almost twenty uh, percent. Yeah. and uh, uh, you said we have seen an uptick of 5 to 7% uh, in q3 right yeah okay got it so uh, is it sustaining at that level or do you see any uh, further pressure or uptick coming going ahead uh, after diwali uh, and starting from december prices may further go up 
because the international pulp prices they have seen upward trend in uh, last 2 3 months so we hope that another 4 5% may increase yeah okay got okay. it and uh, also if i'm not wrong we had a target of uh, say 1700 to 1800 crore revenue in fy24 so are we on track for that Yeah, yeah, we have already done almost. Uh, I think eight seventy uh, plus minus. So and uh, X two should be better. So I think we will remain within that range. Yeah, almost seventeen to eighteen hundred crore. Yeah. Okay, and uh, regarding the margins, you said twenty to twenty five percent should be a sustainable range, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Yeah. Okay, okay. Thank you. All the best. Thank you. Thank you. Next question is from the line of Ajay Kale from Retail Investor. Please go ahead, Mr. Ajay. Your line is unmuted. Please proceed. Mr. Ajay, your line is unmuted. You can now ask me the question. My question is on the art. I got. you can go it uh, okay sure before we move to the next question a reminder to the participant anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and 1 on their touchstone telephone we have our next follow up question from the line of mr aman from aman investments please proceed uh, sir i just wanted to understand uh, on the export side of our business how are we seeing any guidance which you can give going forward in our revenue mix uh, what export will play a role because more of margins is been seen in europe us segments and their consumption is also high and also we have a model where we can plug and play uh, industrial customers outsource business in india as well given our geographical and demographical advantages we have sir any comments or any Uh, uh, positive signs have you seen, or are we planning in this with those approaches? Yeah, export uh, prices uh, as is the normal trend. They are almost always five to eight, ten percent lower than the indigenous market. So uh, we have some liabilities also to export. So our exports they will remain within uh, the range of. i would say 5 to 10% for the year okay okay sir and sir uh, uh, being a business cyclical in nature because we majorly dependent upon paper and uh, alike products sir how are we trying to diversify or hedging these risks uh, any 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 uh, yeah, we don't find the paper cyclical because uh, as you have seen that uh, our production has been increasing in india demand has been increasing okay. and as far as commodity is concerned the certain factors they always always command demand and the supply commands the uh, prices so that change in prices in abnormal time goes up and down but otherwise more or less if we look at the prices they remain in the stable range yeah okay so and the issue which last year we were facing of high inventory and uh, first quarter people industry is destocked it Uh, in large quantity, are we see, are we seeing those coming to an end? Uh, and also, sir, uh, the is, is are we facing issues in unorganized sector because there is a whether there is a shift coming from being unorganized to organized in paper sector? No, no, no. there is uh, no such issue because uh, okay. uh, the range we are in. So to enter that segment, it takes number one, you need to go into lot of formality. and if you want to do some investment it is a major capital investment and all permissions are very difficult to get in integrated pulp and paper and to match the quality and of the uh, and to match the costing of uh, integrated units is quite difficult so there is no challenge uh, to the unit from any unorganized sector yeah. okay sir so, uh, and very hard fact to note that india is being largest demographical and geographical 15 kg per capita do you envisage or do you uh, aapko kya lagta hai whether this will go to 30 kg per capita by 2030 or some some big big vision you have or why are if, if such why are you optimistic about 
because if we look at uh, our uh, domestic pulp uh, paper and paper products market we are just 4 5% of the world market while china with same population is almost 28% because of the high uh, per kg per capita consumption and that too because of the high literacy rate and number two high gdp rate so both these things government is focusing by their education policy they are going to increase the literacy level number one and number two gdp focus you already know the government wants to uh, be third largest uh, economy in the world but that target is there so as far as india is concerned uh, the, i think another 10 20 years the market is going to grow at a good pace and future is bright for uh, paper industry yeah okay. sir this, the last quarter we have received some order of 350 crores from our government telegram sir is it the, uh, the new education policy which is playing out or is it a casual order on need basis we usually get yeah these are uh, textbook orders but the quantities have increased this year than over the last year because of the new education policy yes okay okay sir and sir i just wanted to get your idea is cutlery space going to be risking our business or it is a space which are we are very much interested about uh, uh, independently uh, planning uh, the the what do you say executing it in a passion or an independent way what is your view on this space cutlery space yeah, which we are having cutlery is uh, the market is uh, not very i would say right to uh, accept uh, uh, pulp molded product because okay. of uh, because government implementation of uh, ban on single use plastic is not that strict okay so the prices uh, they are not very encouraging number one mm-hmm. and technology to make the products is not very sound at the moment this okay. has caused us some loss in the past also so we are going very uh, slow on that because of these two reasons yeah okay okay sir and we were adding some machine sir this these all carpets by when do you see it to be any any particular month or any particular time like by march any guidance on uh, completion of our capex being booked in the fixed asset account uh, any particular timeline on uh, new paper machine modification and recovery boiler uh, we will be doing in financial year 25 okay okay yeah. so because we are audible now that all, no all order has been placed and uh, and execution machine shut for pm3 will be in financial year 24 25 which could be a shut of 2 to 3 months also and uh, recovery boiler is just a new boiler so that doesn't require any shock yeah it will be completed in financial year 25 yes 25 great sir sir so just wanted to understand your rational with taking short term debt and paying off long term debt any particular objective which we are meeting yeah we have already prepaid in h1 over 62 crore as we mentioned in our previous call so uh, presently our debt is that long term debt is just 300 crore plus 305 only and uh, i think another 2 uh, to 3 year we can pay uh, and that at yes. any time that is not a big issue yeah. okay okay thank you thank you sir thank you Next question is from the line of Mr. Narendra from Robo Capital. Please proceed. Yeah, I thanks for the follow up. Uh, so uh, the next question is regarding your debt prepayment. So are we plan planning any further reduction or prepayments uh, in the coming future? Uh, Rajesh ji, would you would like to say? Uh, yes, yes. So yes, as the guys have told, we have already re- uh, prepaid the debt of almost sixty-two crores as prepayment. Apart from that, we have done normal payment of fifty-two, forty-two uh, crores. So almost hundred and five crore debt has been repaid this year. And in the remaining six months, we have a normal repayment of thirty-six crores. So no such plans as of now, but still it depends on the cash flows. But as of now, no, no any such plans of prepayment. 
ओके ओके थैंक यू ऑल द बेस्ट एंड हैप्पी दिवाली थैंक यू सेम टू यू थैंक यू थैंक यू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम द लाइन ऑफ सोमनाथ पॉल फ्रॉम रिले इन्वेस्टमेंट्स प्लीज प्रोसीड हेलो गुड आफ्टरनून सर आई जस्ट वांट टू अंडरस्टैंड वी हैव we have uh, this uh, state boards based orders which or tenders which we receive so uh, just checking on the numbers uh, for the price and the volumes which we got in january versus the one which we got latest i think there is about 20% gap so uh, can you just uh, throw some light on uh, how this particular process works uh, in sense of the pricing one and then of course on the payment and uh, are there some uh, uh, you know is this basically tender based or there is what kind of competition to be faced and Uh, what is the kind of pricing that you foresee uh, given the fact that there will be curriculum change uh, in the um, i mean in the coming coming times that is the first question i'll follow up yeah uh textbook uh, tenders they are all done now on the gem portal government of india gem portal so where uh, whoever meets the condition hello yeah sir i'm able to hear you this one yeah yeah so whosoever meets the condition of that tender because the conditions are set as per the quantity and the time period required uh, the time period in which that quantity is required to be fulfilled so like if you have a 30000 ton and they want that in let's say 3 months so you should have that kind of capacity to uh, supply the paper so there are certain conditions to that so whosoever is uh, uh, able to fulfill those condition they can uh, quote on the gem portal and uh, after the bidding they select as you all must be knowing certain uh, number of people for reverse auction and then the prices are finalized so it comes from an open uh, competition open tender uh, competition number 1 and prices we normally quote looking to the future scenario everybody does like that so if we expect to be the present uh, prices are on the lower side and prices are likely to go up by another let's say 5 to 10 percent 15 percent in the coming season and looking to the time of execution of that order if it is going to be executed in the lean period we may quote less than the current price if it is going to be executed in the high season we may quote higher prices also so that pricing everybody quote as per his own calculation but everybody knows the industry well so they come almost within a range so and then quantities because quantities are big no single mill within that time span of the textbook board maybe can supply that big quantity so they normally distribute that tender in the range of 50% to the l1 original 30% to the second and 20% to the third uh, lowest in the ra so that is how that is done so i hope uh, that clears your question yeah yeah so 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 uh, so what i understood thank you for the explanation so what i understand is that it's a Uh, uh distributed between the industry so uh, so do you generally see uh, some kind of pressure in terms of pricing given the fact that industry the other players also try to compete uh, and and uh, the, the how much of the because a lot of it will also depend on the pricing which we get right so that will de- definitely come into directly into the margins because our fixed cost will be covered by a certain cost and the remaining comes into margin so just trying to understand because we are i think uh, the, the 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 publication business for the uh, state boards is one of the major driver of the business so just trying to see through that lens so how do you see that going forward in sense of uh, the ncert i mean the curriculum getting changed for lot of uh, boards actually so, everybody has his own quota in the market we have been doing this business uh, textbook business for the last 25 30 years so we feel comfortable there and maybe those players who are not doing government business they do the same thing with the big publisher like namely publication people book their quantity for another 3 4 5 months so even international player they book quantity of the indigenous player for 3 4 5 months they make certain commitments on prices so it is uh, wherever you find depending upon the product line depending upon your sources your uh, how much you can invest in the textbook boards 
depends on everybody and uh, definitely everybody would like to have uh, a secure kind of business so those who can uh, supply it on all india basis more than almost 20 25 big mills they are uh, participating in different tenders and uh, getting business on the regular basis we are not the uh, single party there are uh, tnpl then sheshashai then uh, jk blarco in cover paper they are the only supplier to uh, big supplier then shreyas industry trident then apna kr industry so all these players they are getting uh, textbook board orders yes yeah so the reason was trying to understand that uh, i think uh, the names which you mentioned are all big uh, integrated mills and they have decent capacity as well as size so uh so uh, so we don't foresee any kind of gaining share as such right so this will remain a space where everybody has their own market share that is that yeah, is what yeah. I'm so because we have a bigger capability to supply so we normally wherever we go we get a good uh, good size order that's that's the only factor so now, another question i wanted to ask is that uh, uh, your your mill is based in punjab so uh, which company do you consider as your competitor maybe in punjab or otherwise of of your size capacity and integrated plantation and mill and uh, alongside i also wanted to understand uh, what is the general spending for our distributors or marketing compared to the mills of our size is it more or is it mostly in line with uh, what the other people uh, uh, give it to their distributors or or, or partners Uh, actually all mills will sell paper to distributors on uh, their own price so normally distributors they sell with their own calculation of the margin depending upon the urgency of the customer number one then the uh, payment terms of uh, customer to customer so that is their domain so we do not uh, give any fixed commission to any dealer we fix our own price and then dealers they decide where it is uh, where they can sell that product number one so as far as we are concerned uh, we have all the people there we don't consider any anybody as our competitor we are working in our own domain and we are trying to do our best while other people they are trying to do their own best but uh, the mill that is closest to our model is quantum number 1 and then trident then kr and these are the three four people who are uh, shreyas industry so they are uh, almost of similar nature as we are okay and i think so the final question uh, is that you mentioned about uh, getting into photocopier uh, and some other uh, high end product so photocopier if i'm not wrong is more of a commoditized business uh, where as a common person i mean i don't find any any of the user would distinguish between other than the credit terms which a uh, normal shopkeeper would get so i was just trying to uh, uh, try to get your understanding on on the capital and the you know inventory cycle will, will it not get prolonged or, or do you have a balanced approach to this no no actually photocopier has a consistent uh, demand in the open market that is number one and uh, it can give a consistent uh, tonnage of almost minimum our target is to have minimum 15 to 20% in our total production segment from 30000 to 40000 ton and because price realization in the photocopier is on the higher side and the quality of the product is also on the higher side which we can make on our pm4 as we have been saying earlier because it will be almost 100% good based uh, uh, product and the second uh, as i said we have recently introduced prime print paper which is a high brightness uh, multicolor printing paper so that product we have introduced in comparison to uh, the product placed by uh, a grade mills in the market in that segment so that too is successful we have already got the uh, first repeat orders also and the response is encouraging so that too we are targeting on pm4 by another 20 25% so that is how we are trying to make out three four products उनका एक स्लॉट बना रहे हैं 
ये उसका एक फिक्स चैलेंज एक रिटर्न हमें मिलती है या फाइनल क्वेश्चन कैन यू जस्ट हेल्प मी विद अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ रॉ मटीरियल परसेंटेज कंजम्पशन इन टर्म्स ऑफ वुड पल्प बैगेसी एंड एंड इंपोर्टेड पेपर इफ यू हैव एंड डू यू डू यू फोरसी दैट एनी चेंज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर कमोडिटीज विल काइंड ऑफ इंपैक्ट यू और और यू रिमेन मोस्टली इंसुलेटेड एंड एंड बिकॉज दिस इज अ परसेंटेज विच मोस्टली द मिल्स यूज एज अ परसेंटेज डिपेंडिंग ऑन देयर मिल Uh, design and configuration. So, do, do you can you throw some light here, sir? Thank you. Yeah, we use more than 50% agro pulp and uh, 35% plus minus wood pulp on uh, total tonnage and uh, 5 to 10% uh, imported hardwood or softwood pulp. And whenever there is uh, parity in uh, using uh, economy in using imported waste paper then we use the option of reducing our in house wood pulping capacity and we use uh, imported uh, pulp substitute uh, good quality waste paper uh, pulp also so that is how we normally uh, do and uh, presently if you look at the wheat straw prices they are almost quite stable for the last So almost six to eight months, there is not much variation, and the wood prices are going up. Yeah. So overall, you see, as a blend, your proportion should be stable for you because there are a lot of uh, you know ups and downs. Yeah, yeah we have a lot, lot of flexibility in controlling the cost of raw materials. Yeah. So overall, as a blend, you think it should remain stable for you, right? Yeah. Because uh, like last year, if you we look at the cost of raw material. the price is reduced by 20% so we could reduce our cost of raw material and chemical consumed also by 20% by doing certain uh, mix and match among us the different uh, inputs of uh, part of all so the overall cost of production uh, decreased by 10% but cost of raw material and chemicals we could reduce by almost 18 to 20% yeah that flexibility we have Okay, so and uh, can you just throw some light on the uh, elasticity between the price change of the finished goods and the change of raw materials, both on the uh, when it goes higher as well as lower? So how, uh, the time lag basically, how, how is the elasticity? Like you, you see that immediately there is or there is lot of supply. I mean, given the Indian scenario. Yeah, yeah. If you look at my, if you look at our situation in particular, as I said, we have orders of thirty-five thousand ton. plus uh, uh, which includes some orders from the open market also so that execution is for almost two months so any price change that will come that will affect me uh, in the third quarter so normally 30 to 45 days order uh, most of the mills they carry minimum 15 days order and those who are into the government business their average goes up to almost 45 days so accordingly for me it could affect me after two months and those who are in the open market the effect to them may come anywhere after 15 to 20, 30 days also number one and secondly the prices of the raw material if we that is being uh, uh, prices of the paper sale price of the paper presently the pressure is more from the imports and uh, since now pulp prices have increased by another uh, 200 dollar plus so that is why from december onwards the incoming uh, sale price of uh, imported paper should also go up so that could be one reason giving leg room for industry in india to increase their prices by another 5 to 10% yes okay sir i think the answers were very helpful i'll join back in the queue there are any other questions thank you thank you thank you next question is from the line of samar lavan from he is an individual investor please proceed yeah uh, good afternoon sir Thank you for the opportunity. Yeah. I hope I'm audible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so you mentioned about the uh, import, uh, the Chinese imports have been uh, 
impacting us and if we could give a number uh, like uh, the landed cost of the imports that would be helpful a uh, chinese import is more in the region of coated paper and both chromo and uh, art both art paper and uh, writing printing uh, though some is coming from china also but mainly indonesian uh, asian countries indonesia and brazil these are the two countries which are putting a lot of paper into the indigenous market so and uh, the disturbing factor is that uh, now they have a lot and they have a good setup in india they have uh, and they are trying to enter the market uh, by giving the delivered price uh, by taking delivered price orders also so which are almost uh, in the range of uh, presently the order they have booked in the range of 70 71 72 rupees a kg depending upon different gsm and uh, uh, where geographically you are placed so that was the one factor which brought the prices down from uh, the high level to in this range and uh, but since as i said earlier the pulp prices have increased so next price uh, delivery may come with an increase of 50 dollar to 100 uh, dollar per ton of paper so that will decide uh, that will be one of the factors other than the demand in the season uh that will decide the increase in prices in the coming months yes um right sir and so uh you mentioned 72 rupees per uh, kg right so they are almost uh, selling that like with 10 to 20% discount of the prevailing prices that which we are selling right now so how how any plans to um you know tackle this pardon i could not get your question so uh, you mentioned that the indonesian and the brazilian players are uh, selling at 70 rupees per kg right their standard cost yeah yeah yeah, yeah and uh, the current uh, for this quarter our prices were around 90 rupees per kg is that correct they were sir it was 90 rupees plus in the first quarter but in this quarter second quarter they are in the range of 70 to 75 for different players for different qualities yes uh, for this quarter you mentioned pardon for this quarter you mentioned right ah uh, second quarter yeah second quarter right 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 all right all right okay okay understood thank you thank you so much for all the best yeah thank you thank you before we move to the next question reminder to the participants anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one we have our next follow up question from the line of mr aman from aman investments please proceed hello the line for the current questioner got disconnected anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one as there are no further questions i would now like to hand the conference over to the management for the closing comments uh thank you thank you everyone everyone for your wishes and for participation and for taking interest in the company we wish you all a very very happy diwali thank you thank you very much bye thank you on behalf of satya industries limited that concludes this conference thank you all for joining us and you may now disconnect your lines